Hi there, I'm Joseph Kern, Instructional Designer at Emporia State University. You may think this is the regular video where I show you some awesome thing that you can use for your students, but you would be wrong. Because this video is actually made with an app called Viclone. And what it does is it takes multiple video sources at the same time, at the same event, like let's say a camera phone and an iPad and whatever else is running the, the app at that time, and it combines all of that footage when it gets uploaded into kind of a an automatically made dynamic collage video where it bounces back and forth between the different sources to make it kind of a cooler shot. Or you can decide, I'm going to run this camera, and now back to this. So with this video, I'm going to show you some ways that your students and you can use it in your course, like the types of projects you can do with it, and in general, just how the app works. To see what is out there and what you can do with Viclone, you can go to viclone.com and just click on trending and you can take a look at the videos there. If you're looking for something educational though, it's going to be a little bit disappointing. There's not a lot out there until you make it and put it out there. One example I found though is a chemistry lab. We're going to drop it into our beaker and we're going to add just a little bit of water, okay, something along the lines of four milliliters. And we're going to stir this up, and we're going to end up with sort of a consistency of almost like uh, wet sand. And now, as we talk to... And so the cool thing with this is that you have multiple cameras all working at the same time, and to make this compiled video, the students and the teacher didn't have to do any editing later, because if you think about how you'd edit, like there are four different camera angles there. You're going to bring up those four things, you're going to try and sync the times of those and pick what goes where and have to worry about the audio of one camera compared to another, and Viclone takes care of all of that for you. So these students could be doing their own video project where they're trying to make just a cool report almost of a lab. They could be videoing what happens in class to benefit anybody who's not there and the video is posted automatically and that helps them and it saves you a lot of the editing difficulty later on. So Viclone is going to help you do anything where you want to have these dynamic multiple shots and it's going to be really good for student videos that they're going to produce. Another example kind of similar in what it does, but this one's shot maybe a little bit more intentionally. Hello and welcome to La Maison du Pape. We are the number one French restaurant in Venice. Today I'm going to show you how to make a fried egg. So here they've chosen what camera shot to show when. Now if you look at the previous version, it was all just randomly bouncing around. And that's the other cool thing with Viclone. If you want it to be this shot now and now this shot, then you can make it happen. So in here, this is the, the timeline indicator. So this is us moving through it. And as we drag through, it shows what's happening. But if I don't want it to switch, then I can just move any of these over. So now there's one long shot of the teal camera. Now at this point we've added two more cameras. So two more students have started filming and it automatically knows that it started now and it puts them in the right places. So if we want to switch it and show the hot pink camera right there, the timeline will show that. And so with all of these you can just switch back and forth and it will change what camera is being used when. So it's a pretty simple way of editing these. When you're done, you can click create or just get out of it. And that's how you can turn the random Viclone created compilation into the more professional version of it. Other applications of this, other than the lab type thing, would be just anything where you would benefit from having multiple camera angles. And a big area of that would be kinesiology. So this example, you have a long jump. And it's hard to show an entire long jump from one camera angle. So you have somebody at the start, the middle, the end, and they can remix it and pick what happens when, what's the best camera shot to show each event. Also, a cool feature of it is at any point you can pick which of the, the shots. And so in this one it makes sense to have beginning, middle, end, but maybe you're looking at the dynamics of somebody as they punt a football. And so 
you can switch easily back and forth into what's happening at each instant from each camera angle. As another example of the benefits of having multiple cameras, we've got this video. So it's the same idea as the long jump, only it's compressed into the length of a guitar, where one hand's doing one thing, the other hand's doing something else, and in different places in the song, you want to focus on one or the other. The final application of this that I'll show you is really why this app was made, and it was for musicians at concerts, because they looked out and they saw that there are all of these different camera angles. I don't know why that one keeps repeating, but there are all these different camera angles from all the different people, and so they wanted a way that all of these random people with their individual videos of the concert can put it into one really cool mix of the whole thing. And so on all these videos you can hover above and you can see we've got like seven people who have combined their footage into this video. So any class event that you have or your, uh, your student organizations, if you have some event, you want some cool kind of social media aspect of it, this would be a really good tool for that. For this to actually work though, especially with the social media thing, it's not just that people have phones with the magic cameras in them, it's that they have to be running the app. And so after you register with a usual registration process, you can get to the app and they have Google, so Android devices, it'll, it'll run on that, and also on the Apple. Actually with the Apple, it's an iPhone app, not an iPad app, so when you search for it, it will run on the iPad, but you have to search for the iPhone app, because nothing shows up with the iPad app. Let's look at running this. So if I can make a video on my phone and on the iPad at the same time, we can see what happens. Now making the videos is pretty simple. There's just a video video camera on the phone. There's the camera on the iPad, and it will remind you that it needs to be in landscape mode because it likes to be sideways when it gets filmed. And things that it does. So you have a location here where it knows that I'm in Emporia. It'll even on some of these videos be more pinpointed than that. So there's a neighborhood of Emporia, which I think is just an apartment complex that's next door that it might show on these. But right now I have two cameras that are running the app in this location at this time. And so that's why you see the uh, zero filming but too near. If I want to start this, I just punch that, and I have 60 seconds to make a video, and that's one kind of negative to this, is you probably want to make it for longer in most cases. I'm going to stop this because the ticking is annoying me. The idea is with those uh, concerts, you have one person who starts the video, and then a little while later another person starts it, so when this person's time runs out, there are other people still going. So the first person can now make another video, and when their time runs out again, they can make another one. So if you have enough students, it's really not that much of a problem. They, they may have to plan out who films when. Other than that, you might have to limit what they do, their projects, or this would be maybe good for commercials or something that, that have more limited time. And you can see here, once my video is done, I can upload it, and then I can track through the different videos that I've made. These are what I did for the intro. Yes, I've changed my shirt since then. You may have noticed that. Um, I found that when you're working with the computer, because you can you know, run it on your computer like normal, you can click on your name to see what your movies are, but I found it's a lot harder to work with the videos on the computer. It's a lot better with the iPad because, for instance, if I decide I don't want this video, I haven't found on here how to delete it. I just I don't know how to do it. Uh, if you're looking at the iPad, though, all of the functions of these are this nice little three dot thing. So I can save this to the camera roll, my video that I produce. So that means if I want to post it on YouTube, I have a file now. Or if I want to post this on Blackboard or email it out to people, I have a file now that is saved as an actual video. It's not just living in Viclone land. I can delete the movie here, 
I can make it public and that allows other people to now search for it and combine it with theirs. And so that would need to happen if you have three students making a video, they all have to make it public in order to share it with each other. When it's time to edit these videos on the iPad, it works just like I showed you on the computer where you hit the remix button and you either have surprise me and that's where it does it randomly or I can edit it and that's where I choose what I'm showing at each time. So as I drag my finger along the scroll bar here, I can go through the video and I can choose to go to camera two right now and then back to camera one. So it's, it's just the same as it was on the computer. There are some features that might be lacking with it, like certain editing capabilities that just aren't there. And again, I don't know why it's not easier to find out how to do stuff when you're working on your computer. But if you have an iPad, it's really seamless. So find some friends or some students, uh, make some videos, and with a few clicks, put them together into something pretty cool.